Hey guys, we're back with another video today and if you like how this look turned out then keep watching. Okay, so first I'm taking the concealer in Saved by the Gel. What shade is this? I think it's medium. That is the strangest wand ever. You can't even see it. Let's see. It's like, it's got, it's like I don't even know how to explain that. Is that the only spot I have? Hmm. Next we're taking the HD Definition Foundation. Okay, now that's blended, we're gonna go back in with the concealer and do under the eyes. This is the weirdest wand in my life. I've never seen anything like this before. It's literally going on streaky because of how you're supposed to like dot it, like okay. Excess. Oh, I hate when that happens. Can you like not do that? Okay, next we're gonna go into powder. It's the Puff Perfection. I haven't even opened this yet. Okay. Oh, would you look at that? What is the point of this? It's not even a proper sponge. Like. Okay. There's plastic on this, how the hell do you, okay. Not a bad colour. So swirl that in. This is the Brow Master 3 in 1 Brow Pencil Definer. Okay, so the end is like, oh, you can't even see it, it's basically white. Maybe that's to highlight. Okay, so this does nothing. I'm not sure if you're highlighting. Okay, I don't know what that bit does. So let's move on. Okay, so cheeks, I've got a free in one highlight, bronzer, and blush. This is called the OG Outdoor Girl Contour Kit. So let's contour. Okay, now let's use that champagne highlight colour. It's not really blinding, but it's good. I mean, considering how cheap this was, it's good for your buck. But you kind of have to dip it in like 10,000 times to get pay off. I do have some eyeshadows. As I'm getting ready for work, at the same time, I don't have time for that. So here's the eyeliner, it is extra fine. That's basically what it's called. And look how small it is. It is the tiniest eyeliner. Compared to like, my other drugstore one, like... It's pretty small. Okay, how am I gonna do this? Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's the eyeliner done. Next, we're gonna move on to mascara. This is the outdoor girl mascara. So it's basically all the like, same collection. Oh my God, that is massive. I can't freaking see it. Like, look at the size of that wand. It's humongous. I don't know how I'm going to do this. can't see what the hell I'm doing. It 
It actually makes your lashes quite nice. It's not clumpy, it makes it like individual. It gives you a little bit of lift. Not ideal for trying to do your bottom lash because it's humongous. But I think I'm pretty much done, just got to do the lips. Okay, last but not least, let's take W7's liquid lipstick. I got this in the colour Apples and Pears. It's a pretty nude pink. The wand is a bit weird, it's just straight. I just, for some reason, when you see my forehead, you can see what I'm on about. Like, there's no like curve or dope applicator, it's literally just a straight line. So let's see. I don't know if you'll see a difference because it's pretty much my lip colour. Okay, you can probably see it better. It's a tiny bit lighter than my lips. But yeah, that is it for the video. A good everyday natural look as I'm literally going to work after this. And yeah, hope you guys liked it. So that's it for this video. I pretty much like everything. It's all good. Not saying I'd really, I don't think there's anything I've kind of repurchased again because there are better like drugstore, like makeup revolution and all that. Makeup brands, and this isn't really an accessible. <laughs> you have to go like online or and that to try and get this or Amazon or whatever. But I pretty much like everything. Hope you guys like this video. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.